Whilst uh, a lot of people are reaching for their reading glasses, Paul McCartney says his vision is still as good as ever at the age of 78, and apparently it's all thanks to eye yoga. Well, the growing trend promises brighter, better rested eyes and even improved vision with just a few minutes' practice a day. But does it really work? Well, today we are joined by optometrist Sheena Tana Shah uh, alongside yoga instructor Chatty Dobson. So, uh, morning to morning, both morning. you. Thank you for, for, for joining us. Sheena, let's start with you, because um, what, he, what he actually said was, uh, that he learned to practice from a yogi he met in India in the 2000s. He explained, I don't need glasses when reading a newspaper. Uh, the yogi explained to him that your eyes are muscles, your ears aren't, so you can't exercise your ears, but you can exercise your eyes. Um, as an optometrist, what do you say to that? Yeah, absolutely. So with eye exercises and eye yoga, and it's something I've definitely been practicing as well, it, it can definitely help certain eye conditions and it can help things like digital eye strain, eye fatigue, dry eye symptoms, but not necessarily things, there's no evidence to suggest it can actually improve eye vision in terms of correcting short-sightedness or long-sightedness, because that's more to do with the shape of the eye and the lens structure. So definitely can help certain eye conditions, like the eye strain, but not necessarily in terms of correcting prescription-based um, scenarios. So in terms of Paul McCartney, I would absolutely love to know a bit more specifics with him to say, you know, this is what's happening and this is what's helping him with his eyesight. But yeah, eye exercise and eye yoga really, really are beneficial in helping the eye muscles and eye movement and really strengthening those, just like we would in any other parts of our body as well. You know, we're always looking to strengthen muscles in our body. Same with the eyes as well. It's really important that we are stretching those muscles out, strengthening those muscles out, especially because we're using them so much more in certain positions for longer periods of time right now as well. And so why is this especially important to do as you're getting older? Do, do the eyes sort of age, I guess, as like other parts of our body? Absolutely. So your eyes go through a natural aging process, like you say, just like the rest of the body as well. So the eyes, you know, will definitely age. There's a lens in your eye that's responsible for the focusing power, gives you that accommodation. And when you're a lot younger, it gives you much more focusing power to enable you to read close up and gives you that natural ability to do that. But as you get older, this lens becomes a lot more harder, becomes a lot more rigid. A bit like an onion, it grows a lot more layers, so it becomes less flexible. And, and so it stops you giving that natural focusing ability there to allow you to read without anything unaided. So over time, when that lens ages, you then start needing things like reading glasses to help you support you with any close-up work that you may be doing. So I, I suppose when you mention eye strain, I mean, that's the looking at screens and, and your phone too much, uh, which so many of us have been doing uh, over the past uh, well mm. over a year now, having to work from home, working from computer screens, um, whether it's um, uh, home education, that sort of thing. That's the eye strain you mean, and that's where you think it could help. Yes, exactly that. So with the digital eye strain, what we're doing, we're looking at our screens, our laptops, our phones, doing close-up work much more than we ever used to do. And our eyes aren't really designed to focus on a certain object or a certain task for that prolonged period, whereas before it might just be 20, 30 minutes. Now it's hours on end. And what's that's happening is our muscles are converging, so they're looking inwards. And as we continue to converge our eyes, we're holding that gaze for such a length of period of time that that's causing the eye fatigue, eye tiredness, eye strain, then causing that discomfort, leading to maybe dry eye issues, gritty eyes, irritable eyes, and then it starts losing your fo um, focus and your clarity as well. So if we're not giving ourselves that rest, not doing those exercises, not looking away from the screen, well, then, yeah, it's causing that, that discomfort. It's really that, important that's to do. Exactly, because we're talking about, you know, it being... Um... Uh, exacerbated through through lockdown and, uh, and Chatty, so we, as far as you were concerned you introduced eye yoga classes during lockdown in your class yeah exactly so we I used to incorporate the eye yoga in my yoga classes at the end as you're winding down so shavasana that sort of thing but we started doing online eye yoga classes purely because people had done so much more screen time but also we had a bit more time on our hands so we were doing it in the evenings time to wind down after you had done all of your emails and even communicating with friends was through screens. So it was just a bit of time to wind down and try And having new. now practised it for four years, sort of seeing your clients doing it also, yeah. what benefits have you seen? Well, my eyes, I think, are absolutely fine. <laughs> Good. <laughs> they work. Um, yeah, and also it's more introducing it to other people is what I enjoy. They, it is a total revelation. And it makes your eyes, yeah, you can just 
relax properly after a, a long day, you know, when you've looked at a screen too long. Well, I, I, did, I did the exercises awesome. this morning when I was reading what they were, and I thought, well, yeah. I'll just give them a sitting in my dressing room writing all the notes and things, and I had a go, and then afterwards I thought, oh, my eyes actually ache a little bit, so it's almost as if I had had an eye workout. Yeah, so you think if you go for a run and then at the end you ob obviously used your legs, but then you stretch out your hamstrings or quads at the end, but you never bother with your eyes after a full day Can of Can we do a bit now? Sure. So this is, we're going to introduce, if you want to have a go at home, give this a little go. Um, how, do, how do we do it? It's super easy, so you can do it anywhere. There's loads that I just do in bed before I go to sleep or yeah. first thing in the morning. So one, sit up nice and straight so that you're ready. You can also incorporate breath work if you want to breathe in, breathe out as you go. Sticking your first one, arm out straight, look at your thumbnail and just keep focusing on that, slowly drawing it in towards your nose until you lose focus of it, then stop. Take it out again. Nice. So super simple, inhaling on your way in until you can't see it anymore. Exhale, take it long, one more time. Inhaling in. Giving myself a giant thumbs up. I know, exactly, just what we need. <laughs> Exhale it out. And there you go. And you can sit, just let your eyes resettle, either close them between exercises or whatever. What else have we got? There is... Fast blinking. <laughs> exactly. So I'll count down from ten. Just blink as fast as you can. OK. Um, and then at the end, sit with your eyes closed. You can warm up your palms and then put them on your eyes after to... Oh, after? Yeah. OK. Into your eye sockets. So blink, 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 blink. Yeah. So whenever you're ready, go ten, nine, eight, seven... Six, five, four, like butterfly kisses. Three, oh, two, one. Close them down. Yeah, putting the palms on if you like. And just allow your eyes to resettle. It can be quite confusing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tiring for the eyes. And then the other one is looking in different directions, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So you can do this eyes closed. This is what I do before bed, and it really does. You oh, feel you do it with your eyes closed, do you? Well, you can do it either. Distractions. Okay. Doesn't matter at all. So either left or right, but... Start looking top right as far as you can, down to the bottom left, top left. This is where I could feel them right. aching this morning after exactly. I've done it. Top right, bottom left, top left, bottom right, and then just bring your eyes back into the middle. Maybe this is why Wimbledon is so relaxing, because you just watch <laughs> the ball. That is exactly <laughs> what it is. You're like doing yoga with the eyes and you didn't even realise. No. That's what it is, then. That's what it is. Um, Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. much. Thank you, Gina. Thanks, nice to meet you as well.